Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about connecting with people in your immediate physical vicinity, rather than connecting with people who live farther away, but you may have more in common with in terms of like interests or values. I've noticed a trend in our society towards people traveling farther and farther to connect with people around interests. Uh, as opposed to being connected to the people that they live closest to. Like an example of this, uh, when I lived in Philly, I knew very few of my neighbors, my immediate neighbors. I knew a handful of people in my building, but that was after living in that building for three years. I probably knew like five or six people, and I regularly hung out with like one of them. On the other hand, the activities that I went to on a weekly basis, where I had more quality connections with people, were mostly a little bit farther away from where I lived. Like, some of them were in other parts of the city, and I would have to go 20 or 30 minutes by public transit or by car to get to these events. Uh, and I even was going, traveling to things in other areas, like in Delaware or in the suburbs of Philadelphia, which would often take 45 minutes to an hour to get to, again, by car or transit. And there's a cost to doing this, but then there's also a benefit. I think the benefit is obvious. If you're traveling to go somewhere where you're sort of connecting more with people, like people share more in common with you, you're able to cultivate hobbies to a greater level than you would be if you were forced to draw from the people immediately around you. Like a good example, uh, a lot of things that I do, I do uh, swing dancing and blues dancing. And if I were limited to the people who lived in my immediate vicinity, I'd probably have a handful of people that I could dance with. But if I go to an event that is drawing people from a whole metro area, there's going to be a whole scene there, and the level of dancing is going to be higher, there are going to be all these people there, and I'm probably going to have a more fun time. Um, so I definitely see the benefits of doing these things. But there's also this downside, and I think the big downside is the costs associated with travel. And these costs are um, monetary costs, you have money that you spend on travel, it's time, it's stress. Traveling can be stressful. I particularly hate car travel in a busy metro area, like the Philly metro area. I find that very stressful. Uh, there's also an environmental cost associated with all this fuel consumption. Um, so, basically there are all these costs, and I noticed over the past four years, when I was living in the Philly metro area, first in the city for three years, and then in the suburbs for one, I noticed that a huge portion of my life was getting eaten up with this travel. I was spending a lot of time either on public transit or in a car, and it was sort of like dead time. I do enjoy riding transit, especially if I'm riding something awesome like the Norristown High Speed Line, but unfortunately not all public transit is that awesome. And car time is really dead time, like I'm sitting there, I'm sort of like cramped in, I can't really move around even as much as I would be able to like on a bus or train. And I think it's just like bad for people's health, like I've read a lot about how traveling a lot in the car is bad for your health, and I notice that I feel worse after doing that. So, on some level I really crave having more connections to the people around me for practical reasons. And I think that this was one of my main motivators for moving back to Delaware. I wanted to live in the immediate vicinity of more of my friends, and I also wanted to live in a place where there was more of a culture of connecting with your immediate neighbors. I had lived in this town before, and I knew it was just so much easier to meet my neighbors here than it was in Philly, in my experience. So, why am I talking about this? I think that there is a degree to which our society has moved too far in the direction of traveling long distances to connect with people around interests. Like, I get the benefit of that, I see it firsthand in my life, and that's obvious. Uh, I think we all probably see that benefit. What I want to draw attention to, though, is the benefit of connecting with the people who are immediately around you. Like, a great example of this, 
Uh, I play board games a lot, and there are a lot of big board game nights or days that I go to in different places that my friends host. But I, I found a lot of people who like board games, and everywhere I've lived, I've, I've been able to connect with people who are very local to me, who are into games, and um, I've been able to teach them new games. And I found that, like, I, I'm almost always able to find people who like to play some of the games that I'm really into. So it might take an investment of a little time, I might have to invite people several times to an event that I'm hosting at my apartment, but I can create that community in such a way that it is drawing in those really local people. So I'm able to get like the best of both worlds. Uh, this also has happened with dancing. Like I mentioned social dance earlier. Well, right next door to me, there are some of my friends who are really great swing dancers. They actually run the UD Swing Club. And also one of my roommates is one of these people who runs the UD Swing Club. And a lot of the people who dance in this scene are right around here. And sometimes we dance in this apartment and it's freaking awesome. So if you're thinking about wanting to connect with people who are really local to you and have that common interest thing going on, if you prioritize that in your life, I think you can make it happen. Um, and I think the benefits are huge. They're hugely compelling. Like spending less time in a car benefits me in so many ways. I save money, it frees up time in my life. Uh, since moving here, in large part because I'm spending less time in a car, I have extra time and I've taken on more part-time jobs. So I'm earning more money, I'm spending less money, I'm earning more money. Uh, and I feel happier and healthier. Like I've noticed I'm in better shape because I'm spending less time in the car. Uh, these are some of the many benefits you get by connecting with the people who live right around you. Like if you can walk to your friend's house, if you can hang out with people in the same building, it's just such an awesome benefit. So I want to call on you to think about this benefit. Think about, is there a way I can make this thing happen more in my life? Like can I get to know my neighbors more? Are there maybe some friends that live close to me that I'm not hanging out with as much as I could be? Uh, maybe when I move next, I can think about moving closer to my friends, or like I can move together with people to make this sort of thing happen. There's so many different ways you can tackle this sort of question. Uh, and I think the benefits of it are hugely compelling. Uh, so I hope that by thinking about this, we can kind of push society more in the direction of connecting with the people close to us, and hopefully without losing too much of that co deep connection over interests and hobbies and things like that. Uh, I'd love to hear from you if you have anything to say about any of this, uh, if you have any insights or questions or whatever. Uh, and as always, I love when people share my videos or subscribe to my channel. Thank you.